In this video, I'm going to talk about the present value of an annuity, and I'm going to show you how to calculate that. Uh, so first off, it might be good to say, okay, well, what is an annuity? What, what are we talking about here? What exactly does that mean? Well, what we're talking about is a stream of cash flows. Uh, that it's the same cash flow each period. So let's take a look here. So we've got this stream. So here is today, and then we'll have like, let's say, one year from now and then uh, two years from now, three years from now, four and five. And each one of these periods, the end of the year, we receive a stream or a hundred dollars. So we've got this stream of one hundred dollar payments that we're receiving. Okay, so each period we get a hundred dollars at the end of the period, at the end of year one, at the end of year two, and, and so forth. So what we need to do is we need to take the present value of these payments because as we've talked about before, when we look at the present value of a single cash flow, we know that if we just look at this $100 in isolation and ignore these other ones here for a moment, this $100 uh, that we receive at the end of the year five uh, is not worth $100 today because we could invest it today and earn a rate of return. So it's actually worth less than $100. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to basically discount and find the present value of each one of these. Uh, but the thing is that that could be kind of time consuming, especially if we have a really long project over 30 years or something. And, and let me just show you uh, how that can become time consuming. So we know that our formula for the present value of a, of a single cash flow uh, was we're basically just looking at the, the cash flow. It's oh, it's supposed to be a C, the cash flow over 1 plus R, our discount rate, uh, to the T power, and T being the number of uh, you know periods forward. So basically what we'd have here is we'd have for, for year one, uh, we'd have $100 over 1 plus R to the first power, so it's just that, but then we'd have to add this $100 over one plus r squared and then we'd have to calculate and add a hundred dollars over one plus r cubed and, and so forth so basically what we'd have to do the longhand way is we'd have to say okay well for each one of these years uh, we have to go ahead and treat it as as a as a single cash flow calculate the present value of that cash flow and then sum them all together. Now you can see where that would be tedious so the, thankfully there's a, a much easier uh, way of doing this and, and we have a formula uh, for annuities. So we have this annuity uh, present value of an annuity formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and share this formula with you and then we can work out an example. Uh, so the formula is the present value of the annuity is going to be the cash flow, so that, that $100 uh, every period. So that cash flow multiplied by, and this, this gets a little ugly, so bear with me, 1 minus, now this is going to be a, a fraction here, so this is a numerator, uh, 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R, to the t power, okay, and then in the denominator we've got r. So this is the present value uh, of an annuity. So let's put some numbers to this, and then we'll work out an example here. So so let's just use. Uh, we'll, we'll assume that we've got this this example up here where we're going to be receiving at the end of uh, every period for five periods for five years. Uh, we're going to be receiving a, a $100 uh, cash payment. So we need to know R, right? So we need, to, we need to have our discount rate in order to be able to calculate this. So let's go ahead. Let's say that R is, uh, we'll, have, we'll say R will be 6%. And remember, we have to convert that to a decimal for calculations. So we'll, that's, that's the same as 0 0.06. So our R is going to be 0 0.06. So now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to plug in, uh, we know the 100 is going to be C, it's going to be 100, 
that's the cash flow and we know the R is 0 0.06 and then we need to know the T the number of years the number of time periods and what we've got is uh, five we've got five times we're going to be doing this annuity so now we just go ahead and we just plug into this formula and that's going to give us uh, the present value of these, uh, this annuity of these cash flows over the five years. So we've got the present value is equal to, and the cash flow we know is 100. So 100 times, and then we've got this uh, big ugly fraction here, uh, 1 over, and then the 1 plus r here, that's going to be 1.06. So we're going to have 1.06. But we raise that to the fifth power because there's five periods. So, and then in the denominator, we're going to have r, and we know r is, is 0 0.06 again. So we got 0 0.06. Okay. So now if you calculate this out, what you'll get, so we've got the present value equals that cash flow times and it's going to give you 4.21236. Now I'm going to multiply this out again and, and finish it in a moment but I just I just want to focus on uh, this number for a moment because people uh, will sometimes refer to this as like the the present value of an annuity factor or something or you might see something like that the uh, they would call it the factor or something. Uh, what this is basically telling you is if you if you had, uh, you know, one dollar, uh, you know, payments or, or excuse me, that you're receiving over the five-year period, every year you get a dollar. Um, you know, it's not going to sum up to five dollars, obviously, because of the time value of money. Uh, it's going to sum up to four dollars and, and twenty-one cents, uh, assuming you round this here. So, but our present value of a hundred dollars received at the end of each of the next five years uh, is going to come out to be. Four hundred and twenty-one dollars and twenty-four cents. And again, I've just I've just rounded this. So this is important to note. Now, this is not it's not five hundred dollars because of the time value of money. So so let me just pull this up real. So we got four hundred and twenty-one dollars and twenty-four cents. So every year. The next five years, end of the year, at $100. It's not $500 at the end. After we assume a 6% discount rate, we look at this, the value of that stream of payments that we're receiving uh, is $421.24. Now, it's important to note, to use that formula that we just worked through for the annuity, these payments need to be the same amount for every year. So if this was... $50 here, and then this was 25 and then this was 73 and so forth, then we'd have to go ahead and do it longhand and treat each one as an independent single cash flow, calculate its value, and then sum them up all together.